Full disclosure, I'm going to do a lot of belly aching in this video. Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. And as promised, I said I'd follow up with uh, you guys on what I thought of GoFest. Let me see if I can fix the lighting here. That helped a little bit. You know, still kind of dark. Sorry. Not sorry. Uh, I told you I was going to follow up on GoFest and kind of give honest thoughts, you know. Uh, I'm not one of their guys on their payroll or anything like that. Uh, I'm not sure what goes on behind those scenes. I'm not saying it would be nice, and I'm not hating on that whole experience. I say that to say you won't have any compromised opinions or views coming from me in this video because it's not sponsored by Niantic. But, Niantic, if you'd like to... Uh, anyway, go fest. I did have fun. There were, there was a, it was like a sine curve. There was a high point and then a low point. Uh, but then it went back up again. Uh, came out here from high point, 12 hour drive. Thank God I had some friends who uh, made everything possible so that I could attend. I really couldn't have done it without you. John Young, if you're watching, you know, thank you for, you know, given your raffle ticket so that I could go and some others. Uh, Manju, thank you for you and your husband for, you know, bringing me up there and, you know, providing, you know, a place to stay, all those things, you know, it's expensive. When you're a nerd, a geek, whatever you identify as, these conventions and gatherings, they cost money. You know, not only are you spending money to get there and to get in the place, usually getting in the place is the least expensive thing, if you actually want memorabilia and you're eating out and you know, staying at a hotel, uh, that might be somebody's weekly or you know biweekly paycheck, monthly paycheck even when you count in the souvenirs and you know pictures or whatever. But what I'm trying to get at it is I just wanted to say thank you, thank you. That out of the way, we got up there and. I didn't really like the lottery system thing, and I know I alluded that to in my other video. You can check that out. I don't know why I'm pointing. Maybe I'm just trying to tell you to go look at my other videos. All of them. Look at all my old videos. Except for those Rap Ninja ones. Don't look at those. Uh, the lottery setup was different from how they had it in the past, and I understand why, and it's beneficial. Somebody can just get on the computer with this bot and just, you know, these bots and get all the passes, and then nobody can go. But this go around, it's like, hey, if they ran out of Saturday, then you got to get Friday or Thursday or Sunday and kind of backfired. It was ironic that, you know, you think Saturday is going to be the best day because everyone's going to have Saturday off mostly. But the weather was terrible. Now, I know Niantic can't control that. They're not God. Uh, however, they weren't prepared for it at all. Like, you got these pokey stops that are out there. I wish I had pictures of them. They've got electrical drops out there, you know, these long extension cords, so that you could have access to their, you know, portable chargers, which they had out there. You know, they had fast chargers for iPhone, Android, Type-C for Android, all that were there. But when it rained, those things could damage your phone. Like, the one thing that you need to play the game, you were at risk of because no one had the foresight to say, hey... Did you check the weather for a week now? It said it's going to rain. Niantic, who's spawned off from Google, Google who produces Android, didn't like think like what were you thinking? What were they thinking that they didn't say, hey, let's put these charging stations under some kind of tent, some kind of shelter, so that you know we don't ruin our own property, but ruin someone else's. Like, that was really irritating, and 
I waited in line for some of the influencers, uh, some of the YouTubers, and you know my phone died. I, my, I just didn't have enough juice. I wasn't going to get out of line. I was, you know, last minute thinking to myself, hey, I can meet Trainer Tips and some of these other guys if need be, and uh, get some autographs, some shout outs, some love from back home here in High Point. And I just, you know, it just wasn't going to happen because. Not only was it sunny out, and they canceled it, but then they let us back in, and it started raining. Like, you could see it was going to rain then. So I guess they just didn't want a class action lawsuit or bad publicity like the first GoFest. So they were like, you know, we're going to kind of delay it. You know, I used the word cancel because initially what they told me was, hey, you can come back tomorrow. Like, really? Tomorrow? Like, that's a nice gesture, but... Road 12 hours, got to go to work Monday. It's not optimal for everybody to just come back the next day. And I would have loved to come back for just a couple hours and say, Hey, Nick, you know, let me get this shout out and then leave. But uh, that was going to be, what, at 1 o'clock? It wasn't like they were going to do it at 9. And they really should have done it earlier in the day so that you can enjoy the rest of the day playing. That's really how it should have been done. Like, the influencer guys should have been ready at, like, you know, 11 to talk to everybody and been done at one so they can eat lunch and go on the rest of their day. And instead, Niantic was like, hey, 11, come all the way over here back to the entrance to get a ticket just to come back at one so those guys can sit there from one to three. That that wasn't that wasn't the move. I, I don't understand the logic in that, but it was their money. They paid for those guys to be there. It was free for me to come up there and talk to them, so maybe I shouldn't complain, but I'm still complaining. Those two, they could have done that a lot better. Uh, what else could they have done better? Um, those are the, the things that irked me the most. Uh, the trading post all the way in the back end, that should have been up front so that people constantly coming in that want to see you can see where you're at. The battle stuff or whatever that they had up front, you could have put that in the back, way back in the sandy desert area. Do that there and have the, the trading stuff. You know, everybody's looking for the trading and have to leave the park, you know, usually the way they came in. Um, I'm betting that most people came in. The front area, spooky woods, you know, that's where all the initial tents were and the YouTubers were. Put the trading stuff there. Don't make people walk all the way to the back to trade and by the time somebody's frustrated and not finding what they want they leave to go to the front of the park you could put it in the middle now i love the fountain the fountain was beautiful that that felt like caesar's palace in vegas if you don't know what i'm talking about google caesar's palace in las vegas and the fountain reminded me of something straight out of there it was beautiful they had it in grant park this time i heard that they had it you know in hyde park or lincoln park or whatever but you know, the park was a good distance. You know, overall, I can't really complain too much. I did enjoy my time there. It was worth the admission. I just wish Niantic was, you know, better prepared for uh, some of the things that I was barely aching about. Will I go again? I don't know. You know, the connection issues were one thing last year. The weather they couldn't really control was the issue this year. Who knows what will happen next year? It was just really surreal to, you know, you know, you know that Niantic controls the game, but to actually see it in real time, they did a couple of things. The first thing they did was when they kicked us out, they, no one really wanted to listen. So they had to remove all the Pokestops, the Pokemon, you know, to know that they can do that on the drop of a dime is, it, it reminds you of your own mortality. I had my own health scare being there this Saturday. And again, check out my, my video. I'm proud of that where I go into detail on uh, my health at the end of that video, but uh, more importantly, or not really more importantly for me as much as it is for them, uh, the next go around it could be something else, because what they also did was do a raid test where they had all these 2k eggs, who knows, next year they might try something, you know, bananas like that, and it's a whole bunch of raids that appear instead of Pokemon, and they got to fix the game. And 
you know, nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. You know, I know uh, more than anybody. Um, but you have to sit there and think, is all the time and money and effort, is it worth it to keep going back to these things if they constantly have problems? I would love to go again. You know, it's just, it's the time of year that they had it is just not favorable for me. You know, I had other conventions that I said, hey, let me try the, the Go Fest this time. And, you know, they had it around Father's Day. So I get it. You know, hey, kids would want to spend time with their dad playing Pokemon. And the other conventions do the same thing. It's just the older I'm getting, I can't stretch myself uh, too thin. You know, family is important too. You know. uh, I got to be mindful of that. So let me know what your thoughts are. Did you enjoy it? Did you uh, have fun? Did you meet any of the influencers? Uh, Brandon Tan, thanks again. You saved the, the go fest for me because I would have been a gloomy gust uh, 12 hours back. And who knows how uh, angry I'd have been in these videos had you not, uh, uh, had that not been a chance encounter. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And I'll see you all in the next video.